So to start off, I'm going to be using the ellipse tool for the head of the snake. And I'm using the image on the right as inspiration for this glyph. Next, I'm using the rectangle tool. And I'm just starting to make the basic body of the snake. So these horizontal pieces are going to be longer. And then right now I'm making the vertical piece. And this one's going to be a little bit shorter. And this is just going to continue. So now I'll be just editing the tail using the pen tool, just trying to make it look right. It was at this point I realized I needed more loop to the snake, it needed to be longer. So I started to copy down some of the pieces to extend the body. I also realized it was too big compared to the head. So I made it smaller. Once everything was the right size, I selected the snake and using the shape builder tool, I united all the pieces. I realized it was looking too boxy, so I made a copy. Then I used the lips tool because I felt that was the easiest way to make it round, to make the body of the snake look more round. Then I lowered the opacity of the ellipse shape so I could see how to form the body with the shape builder tool. So now to make the body look the way I wanted it to, I used the pen tool to add points and use the selection tool to edit the arc. Then I just began making small changes with the pen tool and cleaning up the design.
And so that was my finished snake glyph inspired by Egyptian glyphs. 